something in my DNA, something in my heart, something always inspired me to be that scientist and absolutely living my dream. In Venezuela, we are exposed to science. No matter what your future career is going to be, you are always surrounded by it. And when I discovered that I continue being good in science and engineering, that's where I decided to be a chemical engineer, I was offered to teach at the university where I graduated. I wanted to work first as a chemical engineer because I love teaching so much that I wanted to make sure that the day I became a professor, I was going to be able to tell the students about the experiences of being a chemical engineer in a real field. I had the privilege to always be teaching. What I enjoy the most and is the fact when I see the spark in their eyes for because they are getting the concepts or because they are passionate about it. And when I start seeing their passion, that's where recharge my battery, my energy is to see their passion back to me once they're learning and using this concept and they get so inspired to use it in real life. When I did my PhD, I did it in something called lithium-ion batteries. But when I became a professor and I moved to Ohio, state of Ohio, wanted to become the leader in fuel cell technology. And I said, well, how can I make a contribution here? Well, I think the challenge would be to make hydrogen because it doesn't matter how inexpensive the fuel cell is, if you don't make the fuel, you are not gonna be able to run that fuel cell. So I dedicated my time of research here to make hydrogen. I remember when I was in the petrochemical and there was the urea. Urea is one of the components of urine and urine is also ammonia and that's NH3, it has a lot of hydrogen, it has more hydrogen than water. And then I thought, what if I come up with a machine <laughs> that you could send this wastewater, clean it, and break down the contaminants into something useful like hydrogen. And I, oh, what about ammonia electrolysis? And I went all the way to the thermodynamics and it turned out that nobody had thought about that idea. And then I immediately uh, went and talked back to the tech transfer office and to the vice president for research at the time. And I said, I had this idea. I think this is patentable. And that started everything that is today. My, my years at Ohio University have, have been great, have been amazing. This is a place where you could craft your career. You know, you could be a great teacher and at the same time, do as much research as you want. And I said, I mean, how many, how many places do you have that you could choose to do that? It's very exciting to me that I started with two graduate students when I came to Ohio University and building on, on effort in, and also uh, the support of the university. We've been able to uh, found and establish a center that now hosts over 38 scientists, including engineers. And so that I call an amazing roller coaster ride. I always remember when I came to Ohio University and I was an assistant professor and I heard about already faculty who were distinguished professors like Professor Ted Malinsky and, and I knew he was also an electrochemist and I was just like, oh my God, how could we be to be like him someday? To me, being part of this club of such a, uh, honorable people and people that I admire, uh, I had no words to describe it but saying like, amazing honor. <laughs>